Hello and welcome back to my channel, Loving Your Life with Mama D. And today we're going to be making some loaded chicken alfredo. I started out with two large chicken breasts, boneless, and you wash them really good. You can trim away uh, most of the fat, but leave some on for flavor. And cut them up into nice sized pieces so that you can taste them uh, in your chicken alfredo. Don't make them too small. Now in a nice size uh, pan, you want to put some olive oil and get that oil nice and hot and not too, too hot, but nice enough to get a sizzle when you put your chicken in and add all the chicken at the same time. And then you want to start adding your spices. I'm starting out with a heaping tablespoon of minced garlic. I always try to keep some in the refrigerator. Stir that in really well and then come back with your uh, seasoned salt. And after the seasoned salt, you want to put in some um, uh, lemon pepper. After that, uh, you, can, you can put in another type of a chicken season if that's your choice and get that stirred in really well and let it begin to cook. Keep it uncovered for a while and uh, you want it to just cook until it starts to cook down because you're not going to really pour off any of those juices. You want everything to get mixed into your chicken really well and seasoned deeply. Now get you some fresh uh, broccoli, uh, cut it up into uh, small pieces or each one of the florets. You don't have to make them too small, but uh, you wanna be able to taste uh, each one of those florets. So just cut them off of that stalk. And I use two uh, heads. Now in your food processor, take about 20 uh, small carrots and chop them up. I tried to use a pulse so that uh, they won't get mushy, but just chop them really nice. Now put in um, probably about a half a box of um, fettuccine and get that going to a bowl and keep an eye on your chicken. You wanna keep that chicken cooking and uh, make sure those juices are just flowing through there until every piece of the chicken is white. And then you want to go ahead and cover the chicken uh, after you know that all the seasoning is cooked in really well. Once you can take that wooden fork and, and cut right through them, you know that they're really done. And be sure not to let your noodles uh, stick together. Keep them stirred. Now, go ahead and take those carrots and put them on top of the chicken. Get all of them out the best that you can. And once you have them out of the uh, blender, stir them into the chicken. Uh, you only want to take about a minute or so to do this because you don't want the carrots to cook uh, too much on the chicken because it's going to cook in the oven uh, in the casserole. Once the noodles are done, you want to cook them down to um, just where you don't have to really pour out the water. And then just go ahead and get everything into the casserole, the chicken with the carrots. Uh, get your noodles in, or your fettuccine noodles. You want to put in your broccoli, 
on top. And then you want to stir everything in really good. And then you're going to come back with your uh, whole four cups of um, shredded mozzarella cheese. And then you want to use um, two jars of um, Alfredo sauce. It doesn't matter what brand you use. Just use a, a nice brand. Now make sure your Alfredo sauce is all in those two jars. And now you want to mix that casserole. Get everything blended really well together. Now you want to pour some milk into the two jars of Alfredo sauce to get the rest of that uh, Alfredo sauce out. And then this is how you're going to add your milk. I will put not maybe about a third of the jar full of milk. Shake it up and then get that uh, sauce and the milk all into the casserole. And that's all the milk that you'll really need. Now you want to add a four cup bag of mozzarella cheese. Yep, you're going to use uh, the whole bag. Uh, just stir it in a little bit of, at a time to make sure uh, that you get it all blended in. So don't forget you've added that milk. And now you want to just get all the cheese uh, mixed in with the whole casserole. Now for the top, I use some chatter cheese, uh, probably probably a cup of chatter cheese, just enough to cover uh, the top of the casserole. I think it gives the casserole dish a better look uh, once that cheese is melted. It looks a lot better on top than the mozzarella, at least to me it does. It's optional and you can use either one. Now you wanna have your oven preheated at 375. You want to put your casserole dish right in the middle and set your uh, timer for 40 minutes. After 40 minutes, check it out. If it looks good and brown as such, then go ahead and pull it out and get ready to enjoy. Give it about 15 minutes to cool down. And then after that, you'll be ready to dig in and enjoy. It's very creamy, it's cheesy, and absolutely delicious. I hope you take the time to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget, it's your life, you love it, and make the best of it. So be sure to ring that notification bell uh, so you'll get all my upcoming videos. And please subscribe and share it with somebody, all right? And until next time, just remember, it's your life, you love it, and make the best of it. You have a blessed day. Bye.